Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. We passed out here in our pet shop, which looks really good in daylight. It's a little dark at night. A little bit dark at night. We're going to get some more stuff. We were trying to catch Will-o'-the-Wisps last time. They weren't forthcoming. They they seem like they're trying to evade me. That's the impression I'm getting. I don't know if it's a fact. <gasps> Hello. How's it, how's it going, Aloha? How have you, have you fared of late? I've been pretty good. Do you miss being coated in rubbish? Do I miss being coated in rubbish? Well, I did spend many a year that way. But no, of course not. I Oh, sorry. I cut you off. Let's see. I, uh, I'm, I'm good. I want to hear what you said. Oscar really does keep this place tidy. I wonder how he manages to find the time to clean an entire village of miscreants by himself. <laughs> oh, you sympathize with him. Uh, I've been good. I've been good. Where do I live? Why, I certainly cannot tell you that. We fey value our privacy. Oh, you are a fey. Okay. Do I miss being coated in rubbish? Well, I did spend many a year that way. But no, of course not. I had even begun to forget the scent of flowers. That's what you said. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's You don't ever want to forget the scent of flowers. No. All right. Enjoy your life, fey. Enjoy your life. What's Jamie doing in here? Home improvement? I'm going to call you out on that, Jamie. Seriously, you're buying stuff in here, dude? Hey, guess what? I found some seeds when I was tilling the ground. They grew into some tasty vegetables. It was a huge surprise. No, you know what's a huge surprise? That you actually did gardening. Good on you. Just one more card. I only need one more card to finish off my collection. The problem is that it's a super rare promotional card, no matter how much I'm willing to pay. I can't do much if no one is selling. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave you to go back to your problems. Um, but yeah, good, uh, good on you for doing some gardening there, Jamie. That's surprising. I didn't expect to hear that coming from Jamie. Now this is, I, I believe we could make this flooring, um, but you know, I, oh, 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 dude, I wasn't window shopping. I was sh literally shopping. Okay. I'll look for your wrench. Uh, no, I, I was buying flooring, not windows this time, but, uh, yeah, I won't do any window shopping next time. Window shopping. I wonder if that's a joke at, at like stores, places that sell windows. I wonder if they're they get people come in and say that. It's got to be the worst when you work in it. It's like uh, when you go, when, when the, um, like you're, you're at a store and like the till is acting weird and somebody will be like, well, I guess it's free then. Like that, that one's original. It must drive people that crazy that work in window stores that have to listen to window based jokes. Or they run with it. Who knows? Maybe they've got, they put up signage, no window shopping. Ha ha ha. No idea. I don't know why I think of these things <laughs> in retail-based situations. Oh. Okay. And... Thinking of weird situations. Total, total weird digression. I had to take a car to a scrapyard recently, and that was a, an interesting adventure. They don't put those places in easy to find locations. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was uh, one of the most, the, that was the, uh, the weirdest trip I think I've taken to go find a weird place. It was so strange. And then when it got there, they're not really generally set up for, I guess, scrapping cars as much. There was a lady at a high window, like, I don't even know, way up. I want to say like 10 feet up. It was like, it was like she was used to handling uh, large trucks. And so she had like an industrial um, scale, like a really like, you know, heavy steel looking grabby claw thing. And I had to hand her some paperwork and she's like, just put, pass me your paperwork. And she just like jabs the pole down at the car window and uh, snatched away the paperwork. I was like, this is the weirdest experience. It's kind of interesting. Very, very arcane. Go around the two buildings, do this, do that. And uh, it all worked out in the end, but uh, yeah, uh, the whole scrap steel industry, really interesting. Hey, Oscar, are you into that sort of stuff? You into scrap steel? It's harder. Be it's becoming harder and harder to find my place to store my brooms. I think I'm going to have to... Dude, we have a, a fairly good-sized house, and I'm building you a mansion, okay? When we move over to the... I've told you, when we get into the belt house, I will make you a broom closet, okay? You will have your own... I'm No, I'm not kidding. I will make you an entire broom closet. Just remind me. 
but I'll do it because I don't want to listen to it. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. I don't want to hear him complain. You know, I got enough on my plate. I'm looking for Faye. Oh, you know what? I did not buy Haji any food today. Oh gosh, we got to go get Haji food. Okay, let's water these crops and then let's go do that. We got to prioritize. Like, I don't really care about these crops. I care about my little kitty cat. Priorities, right? We got to have priorities. Kitty cats come first. Yep. Oh, that's a big sunflower. All right, let's get these crops done and then we can get this all done. Okay. There we go. You and you and you and you. Oh, there's, uh, yeah, what is, is it corn? That must be corn. I think that's corn. I think that's corn. Pretty sure that's corn. But at any rate, yeah, I, you know what? I, I, I don't, I hate, I, I don't like driving as a thing. I'm, I actually can't stand driving. I know, I don't know why, I just hate driving. And uh, I've been driving for a very long time, but I still hate doing it. I'd much rather be a passenger, just don't care for it. And um, that was, getting to uh, that bizarre scrapyard was quite the adventure. And it was probably the most adventure uh, I've had in a vehicle ever. I mean, on like in a city. I've, I have like ride driving a vehicle out in the middle of nowhere. That's fun. Good fun had driving a, a vehicle in the bush. But driving a thing in the city, no thank you. So, um, yeah, they don't put those places. They're not in convenient locations. But it was a good adventure. I, as you know, it gets you out. It gets you about. I would never have reason to go to a steel scrapper otherwise. And it was good. We had a... a with talking with the kids, we had a good conversation about the uh, the whole idea of like, you know, um, the consumption cycle. About we think, you know, about where materials come from. You know, think about like you get some steel. Where does that steel come from? You think about mining. You think about all the things that happen. We're looking for cat food, not uh, more flooring. And you think about all the things that happen with uh, all these industries and how things get to you. Hey, you know, my, my son's a car nut. He, uh, he's being a boy, I guess. He's got his favorites. He's a, he, he's a, if he was in love with anything, it would probably be, be video games and, uh, Porsche 718s. That's his, his life now. But we were talking about the idea of, you know, not beyond the ridiculousness of spending $200,000 on a car, the idea of, um, where it comes from and where does it go and, I, it's good when we are uh, w confronted, I think, with our uh, the, uh, the the whole system of consumption, and we have to really think about it. We got to go, hey, that uh, that steel comes from somewhere, and it's going to go somewhere, and this is the place it goes, apparently, which is is really cool to see that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just hold it off. I'm going to put that in, then I'm going to grab that because oh, I'm going to take my net. We're going to go. Gonna go looking for some more will o' the wisps here. Um, tis the season, right? We gotta we gotta use this time wisely. Okay, I that we didn't have much in the way of crops. Hey, Haji. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I I didn't. I forgot to get you food earlier in the week. Oh. You no, know we gotta do. We gotta check on everybody else. Okay, you guys are all good. <laughs> the hens. We're going to need to get some hen food, too. We we do. They are... Uh... There we go. You guys eggs everywhere. Must have missed them previously. There's another one. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Where's that egg? Where did they go? Uh, eggs, 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 eggs. Eggs, 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 eggs. But when you have to think about where your your products come from and go to, and you got to think about the whole product life cycle, I think it makes you a better consumer because you think more about, do I need this? And uh, where is it going to go to when I'm done with it? And where did it come from in the first place? So it's a good conversation to have with kids. But it's impressive when you see the scope of uh, industrial um, recycling. 
It's like that that great uh, the great uh, documentary, Manufactured Landscapes. That's a really uh, a good example. That was a, a wonderful little film. Just looking at uh, what's his name, Bertinsky, the uh, photographer, and the scale of uh, looking at manufacturing and the scale at which it's done, and being a wide scale photographer, just exploring that and. We really take it for granted when we live in a city far away from uh, sites of manufacturing. Like here in Staxel, we don't worry about the scale of manufacturing. It just happens. Will-o'-the-wisp harvesting is its more of a cottage industry. It's not, uh, we don't have industrial farming done on the will-o'-the-wisps. Life would be so much easier if we did, right? I could just go to the will-o'-the-wisp factory, order up a couple hundred. No, that's not how it works. I've got to hunt perilously through the woods. Perilously? Per I don't even know if that's a word. We gotta walk through the woods of peril. How about that? It's, I'm taking my life into my own hands. It's so scary, I can't even t speak properly. It's a terrifying prospect that we're gonna run into some mythical beast. <gasps> got you, got you, Willow. Thought you could escape my icy grip. You cannot, you cannot. Ooh, I wonder if there's any in our mines. Where is our mine? It's we're the wrong direction. Over here. Yeah, we get... I, I can't imagine we get anything that spawns in here, do we? Oh, I, what, that'd be cool if we did. Nope. I don't... Yeah, I don't imagine stuff spawns in here. I, I don't think it goes down a layer. I would imagine it's only spawning up on the ground layer. Imagine if it did, though. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I'm very pleased. I like our little our little cool mine. Could use some extra headroom, I think. We I keep clobbering myself on the way up. Or on the way down. It's fine on the way up. Look at all this troll gold. I hope the Fae aren't gonna next year if they come back, I hope they're not too cheesed. They didn't call me on it, but if Faye don't seem like they'd call you on it, they seem like they'd probably just like I don't know, steal your toenails while you weren't looking. You know, like, they seem mischievous. They wouldn't just be like, hey, you shouldn't take my stuff. Be more, it'd be way more uh, tricksy than that. Be like, hey, let's take all of, well, let's take one eyebrow. And then that'd be it. You wouldn't know who did it or how it happened. You just wake up without an eyebrow. I'm assuming that's what they fare into. They're just into taking body parts. <laughs> Eyebrows, eyelashes, fingernails, you know, that sort of thing. Wake up with two left feet. They're mischievous. Ah, here's one. Hello, little willow. Hello. Are you like a... That's cute. You're like a beachside will-o'-the-wisp. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Surfing will-o'-the-wisp. I don't know why I got surf stuff in my head. Surf things in my head lately. There's no good reason for that. I've had no no surf based interactions. Hmm. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. If only I had a running button. If only I could run to you. I'm gonna run to you, Will o' the Wisp. You're a cute little Oh, look at ya. I love that little animation. What a cutie. Okay, oh I thought I might have seen something, but I didn't. No, I'm just going crazy. That's all. No big deal. We got three, but I felt like, well, while we're doing this, I don't want to do this again. So I just wanted to, like, get... I thought maybe we could get as many as possible in one go here. I just want to get building my house. That's all I want to do. I'm kind of looking forward to winter. I don't think I'm going to plant any crops in winter. I think I'm just going to build all winter. This farming business, it's too, uh, it's too time-consuming. Hmm... Will o' the wisps, where are you? Not around here, apparently. I like the woods, because they're easier to see in here. But, are they? Maybe I just end up seeing more. Oh, I think I saw something. I saw something, didn't I? Maybe it was just a... Yeah, there we are. There we are. Yes, we got you. We got you. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hold still, Will-o'-the-Wisp. This isn't gonna hurt a bit. Into my net, fiend! 
And then we're very nice after that. We're going to trade you to a, a cat dressed like a ghost. Or Kaith. Uh, she's a Kaith, I think, right? I don't remember. That's terrible. I don't, I don't see imaginary races. I think would be my excuse on that. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what. They're all lovely. That's all they are. Everybody's so nice. Oh, right. I was like, what is this? This is our sand castle. Oh, I forgot about you. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah, the little lantern. That was an enjoyable little build. I like it because it was, oh, there's, oh, look at this, three of them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna totally pass out before I get these. Don't let me pass out before I get these. No, 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 no. Gotta get it, gotta get it. Oh, okay, I want a bug. There we go. One, two. How is there three right here? Three. There's another one over here. What the heck? They're all like away from where I was. Oh my gosh. Or they all come out just like right before you go to sleep. Okay. That got four? Wow. That was cool. All right. Well, that was a fast four. We'll see how it goes next time. Anyway, we will see you then. Bye-bye.